Hi everyone, um, so I'm going to be doing this look for you today. Um, it's something kind of, you know, natural, toned down. I mean, obviously it's still full face, um, but I didn't do any like eyeliner. Um, I did do false lashes, um, but they're very natural looking. Um, if you want to see how I got this look, just go ahead and keep on watching. Um, and I also... Uh, want to thank you guys for watching my videos um, I know I'm like obviously super new and I'm not you know I just want to be as helpful as possible I get a lot of questions all the time um, so I mean feel free to ask me um, any questions or have any requests for uh, videos in the future so I can you know get those up for you guys okay. so I um, already put my transition color on my eyes I'm sorry I didn't get it on film, but um, I thought the camera was recording, but I guess it wasn't. So I'm a noob, so it's okay. So I used um, this right here. Uh, it's called Nectar. Um, I just used my um, blending brush. It's the Morphe M441. And I, I'll kind of mimic what I did. I just start probably right here in the middle, and I just start working it right there because that's the area that you want to be the darkest. So you want to start right here, and then once you distribute the product, then you can go to the left, to the right, and just do little circles like that. I do it pretty quick, and then I go back and forth, and that's pretty much all I do. That's all, and then you can kind of go above the crease to kind of blend it even more. I didn't put any more product on this, so you just keep going. And then there's nothing on the lid, so, so I went in with nectar in the crease, and then I'm going to take rosé on my finger right on my lid so I start swiping and then once I get to kind of where right here where it meets the transition color I just start patting and then I just go back with the blending brush with no product on it and I kind of blur the little line and it so yeah, that's all I'm going to do for the eyes. Uh, I'm going to do my eyeliner off camera and then my eyeliner and my eyelashes and then I'll be back to do the rest of my face. Okay, so I added my lashes and I put like a little tiny uh, line on the band. Yeah, so if you can see that with the um, Stila liquid eyeliner, waterproof liquid eyeliner. Now I'm going to start with the face. Um, I'm going to be using Smashbox Primer Water. Looks like this. Mm. It helps keep your foundation looking good, but also it helps um, moisturize your face. Going in with um, Fit Me, Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Smooth. Um, this is new. Um, I bought it because it's for normal to dry skin. Um, so. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to be using the, this is not the Beauty Blender, this is the the Real Techniques um, sponge, I guess. Um, I need a new Beauty Blender, but Open Beauty mommy. Blender. Open mommy. Okay, hold on. But um, they're like 20 bucks, and I've been hearing a lot about these, so I figured I'd, I'd give them a shot. They're like $6, so. And then I just kind of, and I know, you know, I kind of like did a really natural um, eyeshadow. Um, but once you put your foundation on and your concealer, it's your eyes are really going to pop. I'm really liking this. It looks really good. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing extensions, so I didn't like tease my hair or anything to hide it yet. I just kind of like put them in so I was a little more presentable. What happened? Well, stop closing it. Why do you close it? Just so I can open it again. There you go. It's, I kind of got my my color pretty dead on, so so it really leaves your skin dewy. Like my my foundation never looks like this. It always like my skin so dry it like drinks up my foundation, literally. So um, I added the um, under eye brightening corrector by Becca. It really does um, help the concealer, especially if you have really dark under eyes. Um, it really helps um, so you don't have to pack on that concealer. It's very thin. 
um, so that's awesome and then so once it you put it on under your eyes once it dries you're good to go to put on your concealer so I just use um, this morphe brush it's a e22 I added um, the instant age rewind in neutralizer I'm going to be using um, the Anastasia Brow Definer in soft brown. Before I do the other brow, I just want to show my skin. I haven't put any powder on my skin at all. And it, see how my skin just like drinks up all of the product? I don't look like barely oily at all. Okay, back to the brow. So they're the brows, so I just go, I'm going to um, clean them up a little bit um, with concealer. Okay, so I'm going to be using like a little flat uh, shader brush. I'm just going to kind of put some... I'm, I'm going to do a matte, um, a matte highlight on my brow bone just because um, we did um, the shimmer on the lid. Just using a uh, buff, the color buff from the Laura palette I was Next I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line. I'm going to be using uh, the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. I love using this for my lower lash line. It has a really tiny um, brush. And I'm going to bronze my face. I'm going to be using um, this it cosmetics brush, it's just a big fluffy brush. It, the name or the number or whatever kind of washed off on it. The Pro Bronze Fusion. This one is in, I believe, 20. I think there's like four of them. So if you're someone that um, wants to start bronzing and stuff, um, but you're kind of afraid that it'll look muddy or it'll look, you know, um, unnatural, um, I would really recommend this because it, you can go too heavy, heavy handed on this. Okay, so you can already see that it just gives me a little glow. And it's not anything very in your face. So, um, because I'm a little extra and with um, some hula bronzer, I'm sure you guys have heard of hula bronzer. This is the best bronzer I've ever tried. Um, I haven't found anything to replace it. Um, and I like using this old, old MAC brush to, to apply it. So I just kind of... a um this sigma i think it's an e65 i think oh, i don't remember but it's seriously the sigma brushes last like forever i've had these for like four years or four plus years so i'm 
going to go in with the um, Jaclyn Hill uh, palette. Ooh, ah. Uh, I'm going to just use this little dome shaped um, blush brush and I'm going to be using this middle shade right here. It's called Amaretto. You can also move, you can move on to highlight, but what I like to do after blush is to go back to my eyes. Um, this is when I like to um, kind of deepen my um, crease if it kind of washed it out. Because once you have all this bronzer and blush and everything um, on your face, you know, it can um, take away from the eyes. So I'm just going to go back in with that transition color and kind of go back in that crease. Just um, put a little bit more in my crease um, of the nectar shade that I that I did in the very, very beginning. And um, just to kind of, you know, make it a little more uniform. Um, and then now I'm gonna do um, some highlight. I'm gonna be using Champagne Pop um, by Jaclyn Hill uh, from the um, same palette I used the, the blush from. So I just put it on this brush. It's M501 by Morphe. Um, and I just, oh baby. Okay, so I think this is meant to be a blending brush, but I just, I use it for, um, for highlights. So I'm gonna do the other side. See, let's see the difference. Here and here. Alright, so there's the highlight. Um, what I like to do after I apply the highlight, um, I like to go in with some Fix Plus on my, um, on my sponge like that. Right over the top of my highlight um, and it'll kind of melt it into my skin and it won't look so just like so harsh and then uh, for the lips I'm going to be going in with peekaboo neutral by NYX Alright, so I'm going to be using um, a ColourPop liquid lipstick today. Um, I'm going to be using More Better. It's beautiful. I love this color. Um, it's nothing like any of the reds or fuchsias or pinks or whatever that I have. Um, it's very pigmented and super bomb, so I really like it. Uh, I like it when my eyes are pretty neutral, pretty like basic, not too dark. And you know, you put this on and it just makes your makeup just look just pop you know so um, it's what's going to be the main focus of the of the makeup So there we go. That's the finished um, look. I really, really, really like this lip color. Um, I don't know. Oh, I need to fix it a little bit.